why would a run capacitor blow twice in a matter of just a few months? Well, my opinion is going to be it's probably was a, a lower quality run capacitor right. uh, or maybe it was a good brand and every manufacturer, everything made has failures. But uh, that was definitely going to be a, a bad capacitor. So that's internal failure, in my opinion. There. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't think that that could have something to do with overheating because it maybe over a period of time. But it's probably I mean, I think you're right. You know, it's probably some type of uh, manufacturer failure. It could be heat, but it would have to be an excessive amount of heat. But it just doesn't have enough say runtime there, uh, it is possible, but I've even seen where the welds, even on the top of the terminals have fallen off of the, t of the capacitor. It may not be the actual foil on the inside. It's like, it's just a connection to the terminals. Yeah. Is that correct? I've seen capacitors bad right out of the box, brand new before, right? Straight from the supplies, not even rattling around in a truck. They've been bad. Yeah. So absolutely. Those are, those are some of the things I look for. And I personally like to use USA made capacitors. Yeah. There's, there's two different brands out there that I know of, maybe more but I know that when I put that in, I know that that's going to last. And again, everything has a, a failure. You know, there's there's nothing that's absolutely 100 percent perfect, but we reduce those. Right? I don't want to go back to that customer's house again and they don't want to yeah. call me back again. Right. So for me, you know, even if the capacitor is twice as much, it's still absolutely worth it. Yeah. Yeah. So just for everybody that's that's listening, you know, things that cause a capacitor to fail are heat, just how it was manufactured, its life cycle, possible corrosion on the outside, eating into the inside. So those are some of the factors that could cause a simple run capacitor to fail. And we do have a dielectric solution that is being used now that is less toxic and, or it's not toxic. And so... Uh, but it doesn't seem to hold up as well as far as uh, heat dissipation and uh, allow the capacitor to last for a longer period of time. So, okay. thanks. Absolutely perfect. You said all the things that are important for capacitor right yep. there. I 100% agree.